Hello, you are welcome to Chemistry Hangout and I hope we are doing fine. Okay, today I want to actually do some clarifications but before that let me congratulate the student you know that just wrote the, the chemistry practical for WAEC and I, I want to believe the question was exactly what we actually predicted in this channel so I'm happy I could actually help in my own little way and I hope you guys enjoyed that very particular question you know I've had a whole lot of calls a whole lot of comments a whole lot of prayers thank you so much we really appreciate who seems to give us the best who seems to give us the best we wish us success we wish us tremendous success for those people that supported the video you know with prayer financially we want to say a big thank you to you to you guys are wonderful thank you very very much We're very very grateful and if you are new to this channel we have a lot of things to offer you so if you have not subscribed please do smash on the subscribe button so that when we are uploading any video you would be kept abreast so thank you so much for all my students everywhere you know i want to say congratulations to you guys it was a wonderful question yesterday and we saw what we predict exactly was what actually came and thank you so much for subscribing to chemistry and that now very quickly today i i see it as a sense of responsibility or i deem it fit to actually do some clarifications after the just concluded chemistry protocol and i'll tell you the reason why because you know i saw a whole lot of misinformation i saw a whole lot of information that are false that is being carried out and i say it will be very good I actually do some clarifications so that you people will not actually be, be led astray. Let me quickly talk to the chemistry teachers. Let me quickly talk to the chemistry teachers, co-educators, co-chemists. Let me quickly talk to us. Please, any information we are giving out, I beg us in the name of God, any information we are giving out as teachers, as educators, as instructors, should be verifiable. We should not dwell on hypothesis. You know, the reason why is that I saw a whole lot of title values flying around in the just concluded exam. You know, I'm seeing a whole lot of title value 34, 24 centimeter cube, 10, 15. And the reason why I had to do this video is because I happened to have some of my students in some centers, okay? And on seeing some title values in other centers, I had the chemistry teacher, the chemistry instructor here per se, said they are going to fail the exam because their title value was less than 10. I'm going to do a clarification so that we don't mislead students and I'll tell us the implication of misleading them and that's why this video is very very important. So please chemistry instructor students to listen to this video very very well so that we don't create unnecessary tensions for those students. Some are already, you know, they are already Tension, they are already, they are already tension because of some information given to them by their instructor. Let me quickly start like this. I had an encounter with one of the chemistry instructor. You know, they called me from one of the center. Some people that know they called me from one of the center and asked what my title value was. And the same title value I used in my video was the same title value I told them. So, and they told me the chemistry instructor said they are going to fail it if they use that title value. Okay, so they put a call through me that yesterday for me to speak with the person. Okay, so I I spoke to the, to the instructor and I said, ah, sir, I have you said the data value it is less than 10, you know, you will actually fail the exam. He said, yes, I will fail the exam. So I only asked why. And he said, because in the question, they asked them to calculate the mass of iodine. And the mass of iodine, they asked us to measure was around 20, 25.4 okay was at 25.4 and if they will get the question correctly the, the, the mass of the iodine we calculated should be 25.4 so i asked a very simple question i said okay can i ask a question he said yes so i asked that sir please sorry did you carry out the experiment i was surprised by what the person told me he said no i said so are you able to get the title value he said because he knows that the mass of the iodine should be 25.4 in the calculation, which will equate or will be equal to the mass we measured. And I said, no. We are not saying the mass cannot be 25.4. We 
in the question they gave. And that's the reason I'm doing this clarification so that we don't put unnecessary tension everywhere. And I said, no, you didn't carry out the practical. So how were you able to get your title value? You got your title value theoretically. And that's the reason why I'm doing this. I want to analyze some things. For people that used below 10, for people that used below 5, I had somebody titrating, prepared the reagent, and got the title value less than 5. I did my, I got less than 10. Some people did theirs was more than 10. But the issue is this. This is not artistic science. The whole lot of chemistry instructors, you know, we use theory to actually predict the practical. It is very good. But if we don't embrace practicals, we are going to be doing more harm than good. Now listen and listen very good. What they gave us to dissolve, like they gave us iodine to actually dissolve it in the potassium iodine. And I've said that over and over again, that the reason why they are giving us potassium iodide is for it to aid the dissolution of iodine because iodine is not actually that soluble in water. Now listen and listen very good. I say it with all sense of duty and responsibility. That if you have dissolved, if you have dissolved your iodine in the potassium iodide without you crushing, which is normal, without you crushing or eating it, you can never get a thing as a title value. You cannot get a value, you cannot get your title to be 18 above. You are, I have done this practical, and some other people can attest to that. If you did not crush that iodine, when, while dissolving in potassium iodine, and you did not eat it, you are not going to get a title value that is 18 and above. And the reason is because I, I, I did, I gave an eat in the video. I, 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 I think so many people did not actually pay attention to that very particular eat I gave. Because the reason why they are giving us potassium iodide is that they want the iodine to be soluble in it. And what is the reaction that we give us? Now, look at something. I will, I will, I will still do that same thing again to give us an eat. Because we, we add potassium iodide, okay, plus iodine. Can we see that now? Which is giving us potassium iodide. If we calculate theoretically now, please pay attention to me. Theoretically, our potassium is 39 atomic mass plus this one is 127. Okay, this this 39 is 127. Do we get that now? This is 127 times 2. Let me use my calculator very fast. So are we have 39 plus 127. That's giving me 166. And this will give me 127 times 2. That will give me 254. I hope we are following. Now, what they gave us in the question, what they actually gave us in the question is they gave us our potassium, our iodine to be 25.4. That's what they gave us. They gave us 25.4. 25.4 gram. That's what they asked us to dissolve of iodine. In 6 gram of potassium iodine. Okay. Which means, ideally, theoretically, I will need around 166 gram of potassium iodine to dissolve completely 254 gram of iodine. Now, if I'm now using 6 gram of potassium iodide, what is the mass of iodine it will dissolve? So this one will now be 6 gram, will now be x. So from here, I will have x equals 6 times 254 over 166. So our x will be what? 6 times 254 divided, sorry, 6 times 254 divided 166. So I'm going to be having 9.18 gram. 9.18 gram. Meaning, if 166 gram of potassium iodide will dissolve completely to 254 gram of iodine, and this mass they gave us. So if I'm using 6 gram of potassium iodide, it can only dissolve 9.18 gram of iodine. Can you see that now? So this 6 gram they gave us, we only dissolve completely 9.18 gram. Now, if it will dissolve 9.18 gram, I can get the molarity of this. Can we see that? So if this one will just be mole is equal to mass. For me to get the concentration of our molar mass. Then I will have my mole, that's what I'm looking for. 
I have my mold. It's about to the mass 9.18 gram over the molar mass now of this that was 254. Because I dye this molecule, so we have 9.18 divided 254. And that's giving me 0 0.036 moles. Do you see that now? That's giving me 0 0.036 moles. That's the concentration of iodine. So if I'm using this now to predict, to predict the type, what the tighter value, the maximum tighter value, theoretically, that's going to look like, then I can come here to say C A B A over C B V B, which is equal to N A over N B. Do we get that now? So the, the concentration, let's say our A, please pay attention, let's say our A is sodium tamsulfate and our B is the what is the iodine solution. Is the iodine solution. I hope you are still following. So the concentration of A now they gave us 224.82 gram of this. Can we see that now? 24.82 gram of tamsulfate. If I calculate Hydrate. If I calculate the molar mass of this now, it will give me 248, which is you know 23 times 2 plus 32 times 2 plus 16 times 3 plus 5 into 18. If I do all this now, it's going to give me 248. So 24.8 divided 248 give me 0 0.1. I'm taking A as I can solve it now. So this becomes 0 0.1 times. What is the volume? That's what I want to look for, which is the volume of our surface that we neutralize. So, concentration of B now, look at this. That will be 0 0.036. I hope you are following. Times the volume of the pipette that is that 25 is equal to. What is my N? If you check the equation of reaction, our sodium tau surface, the number one is 2 over 1. So, from here, if I cross multiply, I will have VA 0 0.036 times 25 times 2 divide 0 0.1 so let's see 0 0.036 times 25 times 2 divide by 0 0.2 that give me my VA to be 18 so theoretically theoretically if I am saying that all my iodine dissolved theoretically if I am saying that all my iodine dissolved my tighter value should not be greater than 18. If I am saying all the iodine is of the tighter value theoretically should not be more than 18. I hope that is clear. I saw the whole lot of tighter value, I saw 34, I saw 25. I'm still going to come back to that, the implication of that. I'll still say, but theoretically, the meaning of me getting 18 if I touch it is that I crushed it to AD. Solubility, then I dissolve it in potassium iodide and I eat it. So if all the iodine dissolve, my tighter value, the maximum, is 18, which is correct. But in cases where I did not actually eat it and I did not crush it, I just actually, you know, prepared the potassium iodide solution and added the the, oh, the iodine inside. Definitely all the iodine will not dissolve and expect a tighter value that is less than 18. So if you have used a tighter value that is less than 18 yesterday, you are very, very correct. Because the implication is that all the iodine did not dissolve in the potassium iodide because you did not crush and eat it, which is very correct because you are taking the practical. But you know, a lot of instructors that are, that are even causing tensions and that are misleading the students are instructors that didn't even do the practical at all. They didn't do the practical, they just saw some tighter values online and they are claiming that that should be the tighter value, which is not supposed to be so. So, for this one, if you have used less than 10, less than 18, you are very, very, very correct. Number one, because we expect the tighter value to be less than 18, theoretically, the tighter value, the max is 18 downward, if you have done the practical. Now, the, the second thing is that if you have even used 5 centimeter key, as a tighter value, you are still correct because for every school, there is a report you are going to fill. So don't let us mislead this student. If I've used five centimeter pin as my tighter value, in the report they gave me, what I will record here is five centimeter pin. And that is what will be used to mark that very particular center. 
I hope you are getting that now. So if you have this five centimeter cube in your center and you have recorded in the in the confidential report submitted to YN that what you actually got was five centimeter, that is what the examiner will use in marking that very particular center. Because they believe that the chemistry teacher is the master of that subject in that very particular in that very particular center. So what you have gotten is what they will use in marking the school. So please. For centers that use less than 10, above 10, and you have recorded it in your confidential report that that is the title value you got, you are very correct and you don't need to be scared of anything. You are doing the right thing. But for people that got above 18, because I saw 25, I saw 34, for people that got above 18, good, well and good. If you are saying to them that the answer you got, the title value is above 18, and you recorded it in your confidential report, of course. That's what they are going to use in marking the center. But theoretically, the title value should not be greater than 18 based on what we are being given. Are you, you are getting my analysis? Based on what we are giving, the title value theoretically, practically, theoretically and practically, you cannot get title value above 18 in that titration. But because you have recorded it here that you got above 18, of course. Your purity of iodine is a factor, you understand? The way you prepared it is a factor, do you get that? So if you are saying you used above 18 and you have recorded it that that is your title value, definitely you are the master of the subject and the examiner is going to mark that very particular center based on what you have recorded. So please, because you have used 18 in your center or you used 22 in your center or you used 34 in your center, doesn't mean you should put fear in other students. They have not used the same title value that they will fill. No. Let our fact be verifiable as chemistry instructors. We, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are the master of this subject. So please, let's, let's verify information before we share them, before we tell students. A lot of students called me yesterday, ah, sir, they said they are going to fail it to use title value that is 15. Your title value might differ from every other center title value. And you are not going to be penalized in as much as the chemistry teacher there or the instructor there is reporting it that that is the title. So please, I don't want anybody to be scared. I don't want you to be afraid. The exam has been wonderful. What we have predicted came out and it was wonderful. So please don't get distracted. You have done the right thing. I have somebody that I treated and got less than five. Don't do the right thing because you have performed the practical. But I discover that a whole lot of chemistry is something that you don't even perform the practical and they won't cause problem. They are predicting. No, don't predict. You have the iodine, you have the potassium iodine, carry on the titration, do the titration carefully and be sure of your values. So please, if you have used any title value in your center and that is what you have recorded as a title value in that center, you don't need to be afraid. So please, for students that have been calling me, I just didn't fit to release this video, do clarifications irrespective of your title value. Fine. Some people are saying they crushed it and everything is up. Fine. So people are saying, if you like me, I didn't crush the ayuda and I didn't eat it. I just prepared it like that and I titrated. Okay, so what we are actually saying in essence, I mean, if I'm not getting, if my data value is not up to like me, I used around 8.90 yesterday. That's what I used, that when I titrated, that's what I got. So what I am saying is that, since my data value is not up to it, it means that all the ayuda I dissolved in the potassium iodide is, everything did not dissolve, which is true. Only part of it dissolved. And the part of it that dissolved is what I got as my mass concentration. When they ask you to calculate your mass concentration, you will see they ask you to prepare 25.4, but at the end of the day, you might be getting around 4 or 5, you know, or 3, depending on your title value. Which is saying that all the iodine did not dissolve, which is a very valuable fact. Because the practical is done, it is, it, is, it is crystal clear. So please, I beg us as chemistry instructors, we are masters of this subject. Let us try to do our research. Let our facts be verifiable so that we don't put unnecessary tensions in those students. And I beg us, chemistry teachers too, when questions come like this, please try and partake in the practical. Some of us, you know, I was pained yesterday seeing the chemistry instructor saying this center will fail. And when I asked, they didn't even perform the practical then. It's, it's, it's weird. You have not performed the practical and you have concluded already that other centers will fail because they did not use your title value. Please, let's, 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 be, let's be open to learning. Let's be open to learning. If we don't understand one or two things, let's ask people.
that understood it. I had a lot of people that reached out to me and I welcomed them with my open hands. We discussed at length what was your own, you know, what was your own observation about this. This is it, this is it. And we learned. So please, you don't need to put fear in any student. The title value you have used in your various center will be marked well, will be marked correctly because that is what your chemistry teacher will recommend. And please, I beg students, when you are writing exams like this, stick to the title value in your center. I've just said that. Stick to the title value in your center because the title value your teacher gave you is what he will record. And any alteration from the title value, or when your title value is far from the one your instructor recorded, you are going to be penalized for it. So please, there is no fear anywhere. The exam has been wonderful. I uh, it, 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 it. the whole lot of relief, you know, for me that the video that we actually released can actually help, really help to do students. So thank you very much. Don't be afraid. The exam has been wonderful. You don't need to be distracted. Okay, we are expecting nothing but excellent results, especially in the chemistry, because it was super, super wonderful. So let your mind be at rest for all students listening to me, watching me, let your mind be at rest. The data value in your center is correct because that is what your chemistry teacher recorded as its own data value. So there is no need, there is no cause for alarm, there is no need to be afraid, to be scared. It has been wonderful. So if you are just watching this YouTube channel, there is a lot of things in stock for us. Just click on the subscribe button. And please, for people that are my subscribers already, you can share it to your friends. We need to help a lot of the people. We saw that, you know, chemistry is one of the subjects that it's actually giving students problem, and we are here to actually explain some concepts that you know we are, we are finding difficult. And I've said it, I'll try and do more practicals too, as God will help me. I'll do more practicals so that we can see that science is a practical thing, it's not artistic, it is not theoretical. We don't have that theoretical. So let's appreciate practicals, let's do that and be able to tell the student that, of course, science is real and it exists. So thank you very, very much. If you have been blessed by the video on this channel, you can leave a prayer for us. Yes, we need your prayers, we need your support, we need your prayers, we need your support, we need you to share the link, you know, we need you to tell people about this channel because together we can actually grow the channel. So if you have been blessed by some of the videos that we have actually uploaded in this channel, in the comment box you can drop a prayer for us. We need your prayer, yeah, we need your prayer, we need them well, we need your support, we need your prayer. And one of the ways you can support us is by sharing the channel and telling people more about this very particular channel. For NECO students that have been chatting me up, we pray God gives me the grace. I'm going to upload the video for that to the practicals. By God's grace, I'm going to upload the practicals. When the instructions to us come, you know, I will do justice to them as God will help me and try to actually give us something to study. And in conclusion, please, anything released on this channel is a guide for us. We are not saying every time the question will be like, you know, the way I've been predicting it has been accurate. But we are sure that if you have followed this channel well and you have watched the video carefully, you should not find some things difficult because what we give here is around 60% of what we are going to meet in the exam. So please, when we release any video here, it's a guide, especially for people that are writing my echo, you know, it's a guide for you to understand how the question is going to look like. So please, don't be afraid, don't be scared. The result for chemistry for this year is going to be excellent. Last year was excellent, and this year is not going to be an excellent. So let your mind be at rest. For any type of value you have used in your various center, you are correct because your chemistry teacher has recorded that and said this is the type of value for the center. I wish you good luck. I wish you tremendous success. I love you guys. Bye.